you've just announced your retirement, why now? Um, I think over the years when I've seen players retire, um, you know, when you ask them about it, they always say they, you, you'll know when you're ready. And I think I know when I'm ready. You know, I think I'm ready. After 20 years in the game, David Beckham calling time on his career probably didn't come as the greatest of surprises. At 38 years old, it's testimony to his supremely professional approach to the sport that he was able to play a part in capturing the French league title with his club side Paris Saint-Germain, who offered him a one-year contract extension, which he's now declined. I think it's, it's every athlete's dream, every footballer's dream to go out on the top, uh, you know, on top form or winning a trophy. You know, it doesn't happen uh, that often, but, you know, I've been lucky. Obviously, when I left United, uh, we won the league. When I left, um, when I left Madrid, we won the league. Uh, like you said, leaving the Galaxy, you know, uh, doing uh, two years of winning the championship there and then obviously coming here and winning the league. Um, it's nice to it's nice to go out like that, you know. I think people look back and you know, it's it's written, mm -hmm. you know. It's simple. You're leaving as a champion, and uh, I think that's why I think that it's the right time. He formed an integral part of Manchester United's so-called golden generation, along with the likes of Ryan Giggs, Paul Scholes, Nicky Butt and brothers Gary and Phil Neville. Four titles in four different countries speaks to a career that saw him play at some of the world's biggest clubs, including Real Madrid and AC Milan, as well as make the move to the USA in a bid to boost the major soccer league as a marquee signing for the LA Galaxy. His celebrity lifestyle, along with his wife Victoria, has seen brand Beckham become one of the most marketable in sporting history, from clothing brands to fragrances from Milan to Paris and a regular fixture in Hollywood. He also played an integral part in the marketing of the London Olympic Games in 2012, as well as becoming the first footballer from outside of China to be invited to be an ambassador for the sport in that country. The former England captain made a record 115 outfield appearances for his country, won 19 trophies and 10 league titles in a glittering career. He won't be remembered as the greatest footballer ever to grace the pitch, but there is no doubt that after two decades, he will be remembered as one of its most recognisable. Jean Smythe, Eyewitness News. Eyewitness News. In touch, in tune and independent. For the latest, log on to ewn.co.za or ewn.mobi.